Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming crossover that is releasing this summer, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys all know, there is a comic book crossover coming set in the Arrowverse, which is going to be canon to the Arrowverse, and we recently got some covers for some previous issues, and we talked about what was going to be happening there. We have shows like Superman Lois, Stargirl, Batwoman, etc. And now we have new information in regards to the final two issues of this crossover. And just as a reminder to you guys what this is all about. So basically this is called Earth Prime. That is the official title of the comic book series. So it's going to be six issues and they're going to be releasing basically once every two weeks. And they're going to be written by mostly the writers from the actual TV shows inside the Arrowverse. And then it's going to be obviously drawn by proper comic book artists. So it's kind of like crossing over the two worlds like DC Comics and DC TV. So this is definitely something to really look forward to. And I can't wait to talk about this in today's video. So we have issue 5. We have the official synopsis of the issue. And we have the front cover. You can take a look at the cover here. We have Bart and Nora West Allen who are featured even over The Flash. And so it seems like this issue of The Flash's part of this crossover is in fact centered around his kids. Just like not this week's episode but last week's episode of The Flash where you saw Bart and Nora return and they were excess and impulse going around Central City. So it really does seem like they're putting a lot of emphasis on these two characters. It seems like they are definitely setting up for like a potential Bart and Nora spin-off show because as many people have been speculating for quite a while now, everyone's kind of waiting for The Flash when it's going to end and like when it's officially going to be announced because as of right now it's continuing we will get a season 9 it's nearly confirmed and beyond that people have been asking for a Bart and Nora show especially after last week's episode because pretty much last week's episode was just centered around the two characters and Barry was barely in the episode and like if you look at any other past episode with the two characters it's almost always been with Team Flash, so this was the first time that they're kind of alone. And the same thing is similarly going to be happening in this issue. So this is a really cool cover, but for now let's go ahead and read the synopsis of Earth Prime issue 5, subtitled The Flash. So this is The Flash's issue, it's written by S. Carson and Emily Palizzi. They have written The Flash on TV before. And art is going to be done by David LaFuente, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. And also the cover by Kim Jacinto, which you just saw. So this is how the issue goes. Impulse and Excess burst onto the scene in 2049. When Barry Allen and Iris West go out of town for a much needed vacation, Bart and Nora are left to stay out of trouble in Central City with their parents gone. Bart begs Nora to let him go on patrol and really be a hero, but Nora refuses, saying it's too dangerous without Barry there. But when one of Bart's classmates at Central City University starts causing trouble, how can Impulse not leap into action? So this issue is coming out in the first week of June, two weeks after the previous issue, and this is the penultimate issue of Earth Prime. Let's break this down a bit. So like I said, Impulse and Excess are going to be pretty much leading this issue, and it's actually going to be set in 2049, so that's going to be interesting, kind of speeding around there getting to explore that a little bit because we've seen snippets of 2049 in various versions of the timeline like we saw it last week just for an instance but in the comic book you can do much more and it's more exciting you don't have these limitations that tv has because the limits of a comic book artist is their imagination and for tv obviously that goes into budget and things like that which have to be heavily thought about and obviously creating a future version of a city isn't very cheap like you have to get a lot of really talented people to work on it and it's going to take a lot of time so it costs money so with this it's exciting we get to explore 2049 more even if it's in the form of a comic book and Barry and Iris go out of town for a much needed vacation. It seems like Barry and Iris are always on vacation. Like that's always the excuse when they're not there. They're on a vacation and it literally always happens. Anyway, so Bart and Nora are left to stay out of trouble in Central City. 
and so this is set in the future and basically Nora and Bart have the same dynamic in this comics as they do on the show right now with Nora being you know the older sister in charge of what Bart does but obviously Bart being impulse and being impulsive he can't help but leap into action when one of his classmates at Central City University starts causing trouble I presume his university mate is probably a meta or probably an alien of some sort probably best to bet on meta because it's in central city and it's interesting that we're going to see bart in his normal life because this could be something that we explore later in the future on maybe the flash or even a spin-off show like we said before and we're going to be seeing the central city university i believe for the first time i don't remember seeing it on the show so i might be wrong about that but i'm looking forward to actually seeing bart kind of do normal stuff rather than just being in the suit or coming back in time but actually being in his point in time but without further ado let's go ahead and jump to the next issue so we don't have a cover for this issue however one of the artists of the issue Will Robson has actually released some really interesting comic book art for three of the pages but this is the final issue of Earth Prime it's called Earth Prime crossover number six so issue six this is coming out two weeks later on the 21st of June and this is going to be the finale of this big crossover event and you're going to see all of our heroes crossing over finally because if you guys didn't know the first five issues is pretty much contained to each show with each writer being specifically from a certain show that they have worked on before and so this is how the issue synopsis goes a threat has been amassing forces from across time and universes their plan is to finally free humanity from their dependency on these so-called heroes all these beings do is bring about pain and destruction everywhere they go solving no issues and bringing no peace to the world instead this being will bring the heroes community to its knees and finally help society reach its true potential the age of heroes is over so this is really interesting so this is proper crisis stuff right here so what is this threat so this threat has been amassing forces from across time so that means time travel so we're going to probably see some people being recruited and then also across universes so that means multiverse we're going to get multiverse in this crossover obviously with the inclusion of Stargo here that already confirms we're going to have the multiverse explained and revealed to our Arrowverse heroes in this final issue at least because if she crosses over they have to explain oh how is she on Earth Prime now because she's not actually situated on Earth Prime well at least her show isn't right now and so with that this villain is out there somewhere in the multiverse and probably not from our Earth and obviously they have this absolute hatred for heroes and that is their whole thing to free humanity from their dependency on these so-called heroes i guess it's possible that the person could be human however the way that they refer to this villain is as a being so the way that they word it suggests that they are something greater than just human they are something out there from the multiverse and this synopsis is definitely vague but it does tease how big this event is going to be this final issue and also the being is referred in plural implying that you know there's more than one person working with him and that being definitely has some sort of army behind him in order to try and take down these heroes and put them out once and for all and free humanity despite obviously this not being the best for humanity because they cause destruction everywhere they go and so let's move on to talk about the comic book pages that have been released. So there's three pages from issue six from the finale crossover issue, which is very, very exciting because if you look at the first page here, you can kind of tell what's going on. Again, this is just in black and white, but it's very referential to stuff that's happened in the past. So firstly, we have this shot right here. This is a panel and it's of a caped hero. I can't be specifically certain who this caped hero is up here however it's a long cape it could be the spectre it could be oliver queen returning that would be really interesting but nevertheless that being that person with the cape is looking into the windows where we cut to the next panel and we have bart and nora 
And so Barton and Nora are obviously going to be a big thing in this crossover. And it seems like as a whole in the Arrowverse, they're being lined up to be huge for the Arrowverse's future. But we also have a return of a Flash villain. And so there is breaking news on the TV that Bart is watching and we see blood work. So blood work is coming back in comic book form in this crossover, which is very, very exciting because we haven't seen blood work in a while. It was teased that he would come back, but he hasn't actually come back in live action form yet. But the most exciting panel is after this next page. So Bart and Nora get ready. And then suddenly we cut to Martian Manhunter fighting blood work in, I presume, Central City. So that is super exciting. We have a Supergirl crossover in Earth Prime. This was expected that they would try and bring in some of the Supergirl characters. And it's so cool to see Martian Manhunter back, especially since Supergirl has ended. And this just confirms, you know, they're still out there in the Arrowverse. And there's always potential for future crossovers for these Supergirl characters to return. And yes, this is just in comic book form. But it's been said that this is canon. So they've devised this all. And maybe they even consulted David Harewood about this. But you can see clearly I've got a side-by-side -side comparison on the screen for you guys. This is 100% Martian Manhunter fighting Bloodwork. And that is a crossover you'd never expected, maybe. Bloodwork fighting Martian Manhunter. That is just super cool. And so, yeah, that's pretty much that panel. And if we move on to the next page, we have Bart and Nora as they speed out through Central City to go defeat the villain. I actually can't seem to remember who this villain is in the middle of the panel, but if you guys can remind me, let me know in the comments below. But basically he is, you know, doing some sort of heist and they stop and they stop him along the way before being interrupted by some sort of beam that destroys the diamond that's in Bart's hand. And you can presume that's by another villain, someone else who is there in that situation. I would presume it could be some sort of heat vision, but I wouldn't think Supergirl or Superman would do that. But I guess there is always a chance it's like dark side Omega Beams, but it's probably likely to be someone else. It could be someone with some sort of laser gun, I guess. So overall, I'm really excited to see the Earth Prime crossover finally happen and we're getting new looks at it and it's very exciting. Hopefully later this year, when the new seasons start, we'll get a big crossover. But for now, I'll take what I can get and I'm super excited that Martian Manhunter is being included in Earth Prime and so we get our Supergirl crossover. Obviously, the last time we had a Supergirl crossover was when Alex was in The Flash for Armageddon. That was great and I hope to see more in the future. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new so you don't miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.